Hey friends, today we're gonna to talk about something really special, peace. Have you ever felt worried or scared about something? Maybe it was a really big test at school or making new friends. Maybe something happening at home or maybe an argument with a friend. It's normal to feel that way sometimes. But did you know that God wants to give us peace even in those moments? Peace is a fruit of the Spirit, and we can only receive true peace from God when we decide to follow Jesus. There are three ways the Holy Spirit helps us to have peace. Peace with God, peace of mind, and peace with others. We are going to look at three different pieces of scriptures that teaches us these things. So let's start with talking about how we can have peace with God. This is what Romans 5.1 says, We have been made right with God because of our faith. Now we have peace with Him because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now the Apostle Paul wrote the book of Romans, and what he is saying here is that because of what Jesus did on the cross, we can have a relationship with God that lasts forever. Now there's this thing called sin, and sin separates us from God, and we can't have peace with Him as long as the stains of sin are on us. Sin is anything we do that goes against what God says is right. And it requires a sacrifice to make things right. So Jesus came to be that sacrifice by dying on the cross and coming back to life so that we can have peace with God. Paul is saying that when we believe in Jesus, that he died on the cross, came back to life, we ask God to forgive us of our sins, we can have peace with God forever because Jesus took away the stain of sin on us. Isn't that amazing? Yay! The next way that God helps us to have peace is peace of mind. Let's look at Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. He will do this because you belong to Christ Jesus. God's peace can never be completely understood. Paul also wrote the book of Philippians. And what he was saying here and teaching us in these verses is that we can have peace in our mind and our hearts because God cares about us deeply. It means that when we feel worried or anxious, we can talk to God about it. And he promises to give us peace through his Holy Spirit, a peace that's even better than we can even imagine. This doesn't mean that all of our problems will go away but it does mean that God will be with us and give us peace in the middle of life's challenges. We can have peace in tough times because we know that God is in control. And the third and final way that God helps us to have peace is with others. Romans 12, 18 says this, if possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. This verse reminds us that God wants us to live peacefully with others too. To live at peace with others means that we treat them with love, with respect and kindness, even when it's difficult. It means asking for forgiveness when we've done something wrong and forgiving others when we've been wronged. But having peace with others is hard. Amen. It isn't easy to always get along with people. And God knows that. So he doesn't ask us to get along with people all on our own. God wants to help us to have peace with others by the help of His Holy Spirit. Ooh. Now remember, if you believe in Jesus and you have decided to follow Him for the rest of your life, you are filled with His Holy Spirit. The same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And He's pretty powerful. If the Holy Spirit can raise Jesus back to life, that same Spirit can help us to have peace with God peace of mind and peace with others. Bottom line, God gives me peace. See you next time. Bye.